a very good day to all of you students student today i shall teach you class 9th civics lesson 3 name of the chapter is constitutional design student in this chapter we will read about democratic constitution in south africa in south africa there was a apartheid system student apartheid system was the official policy of racial separation and ill treatment of blacks followed by the government of south africa between 1948 and 1989 and the system of apartheid divided the people and labeled them on the basis of their skin color the native people of south africa are black in color there were people of mixed races who were called colored and people who migrated from india student the white rulers treated all non white as inferior the non whites did not have voting rights student condition of the blacks under the apartheid system in south africa was critical they were forbidden from living in white areas they could work in white areas only if they had a permit trains buses taxis hotels schools hospitals were all separate for the whites and the blacks thus a policy of segregation was followed they could not even visit the churches where the whites worshiped blacks could not form association or protest against terrible treatment so this was the condition of the black under the apartheid system in south africa student many people fought against the apartheid system the blacks colored and the indians fought against the apartheid system the african national congress led the struggle against the policies of segregation many workers unions and the communist party joined the struggle many sensitive whites also joined the anc to oppose the apartheid and played an important role in this struggle student several countries too denounced apartheid as unjust and racist student struggles of the people made some effects as the protest and the struggle against apartheid intensified the white minority government felt that it was not possible to keep the black under the control through repressive policies so they took some steps student discriminatory laws were repealed ban on political parties and restrictions on the media were lifted nelson mandela was released after 28 years of imprisonment finally student on 26 april 1994 republic of south africa came into existence the apartheid rule came to an end paving the way for the formation of a multiracial government student nelson mandela was tried for treason by the white south african government he and seven other leaders were sentenced to life imprisonment in 1964 for daring to oppose the apartheid regime in his country he spent the next 28 years in south africa's most dreaded prison robben island student nelson mandela was the first president of this new south africa and after 28 years of imprisonment nelson mandela walked out of the jail as a free man finally at the midnight of 26 april 1994 the new national flag of republic of south africa was unfurled making the newly born democracy in the world and nelson mandela was the first president of this new south africa student there were some objects of the black majority and the white minority in south africa at the time of making the constitution student the black majority was keen to have the democratic principle of majority rule in the country and to have social and economic rights the white minority is wanted to protect its privilege and its property student the compromise was reached the whites agreed on the principle of majority rule and that of one person and one vote and one value they also agreed to accept some basic rights for the poor and the workers 
द ब्लैक्स एग्रीड दैट मेजोरिटी रूल वुड नॉट बी एब्सोल्यूट दे आल्सो एग्रीड दैट द मेजोरिटी वुड नॉट टेक अवे द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द वाइट माइनॉरिटी स्टूडेंट आफ्टर द एमरजेंस ऑफ द न्यू डेमोक्रेटिक साउथ अफ्रीका ब्लैक लीडर्स अपील टू द फेलो ब्लैक्स टू फॉर गिव द वाइट्स फॉर द एट्रॉसिटीज दे हैड कमिटेड वाइल इन पावर दे बिल्ड ए न्यू साउथ अफ्रीका बेस्ड ऑन इक्वालिटी ऑफ ऑल रेसिस एंड मैन एंड वुमेन ऑन डेमोक्रेटिक वैल्यूज सोशल जस्टिस एंड ह्यूमन राइट्स द पार्टी दैट रूल थ्रू द ऑपरेशन एंड ब्रूटल किंग्स एंड द पार्टी दैट लेट द फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल सेट टूगेदर टू ड्रॉ अप ए कॉमन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन स्टूडेंट आफ्टर टू ईयर्स ऑफ डिस्कशन एंड डिबेट दे केम आउट विद वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड हैज एवर है The Constitution gave to its citizens the most extensive rights available in any country. Student, next is the views of Nelson Mandela on the Constitution of South Africa. He said the Constitution of South Africa speaks of both the past and the future. On the one hand, it says Solomon Pact, in which we as South African declares to one another that we shall never permit a repetition of our resist brutal and repressive past but is it is more than that it is also a charter for the transformation of our country into one which is truly shared by all its people a country which is in the fullest sense belongs to all of us black and white women and women student these were the views of the nelson mandela on the constitution of south africa Constitution of South Africa inspired democrats all over the world. It is seen as a model of democracy and it was a determination of the people of South Africa to work together. Student I have taught you complete chapter. I think you might have understood. So you like it, share it to other student to get education. You subscribe it for my next educational video. Thank you have a nice day. God bless you all.